All right, well, this is the start of the trail, which is fun. It's actually not that bad with, uh, I guess, the, uh, what do you call it? Trees. So, yep, here we go. So, starts you off pretty quick. Um, I don't think that's a trail. All right. Let's see. It kicks your butt right out the gate. Yeah. Pretty cool view. We're going up there. I guess what's really nice of being in the trees is that uh, the wind's not that bad. Now, I do bring my makeshift towel. It seems rather silly, but uh, I was expecting to have more sun. So let's hope the clouds clear. And we need to uh, train some more to be ready for Shasta for sure. Okay, well, some good news. I uh, just ran into a local, and at least she said I'm on the right way. But the truck up here is interesting. You go up from Truckee, you go up 89, and then from there, you take it's like 49. It takes you a couple of little like back to pave camping uh, dirt bike routes. But boy, man, this thing just it doesn't give up, man. It's just go, go, go. And uh, yeah, and you eventually make it to the trailhead. No cell service, though. So, anyways. Okay. So, we're going up there. And it's like the clouds are covering, but. I think it's gonna go over well. Good news is, is that uh, last. Okay, we're going up there, and uh, hopefully those low clouds will blow over. But the lady that I passed said, "You want to hike this trail with cloud cover?" So I'm like, "Hey!" So I got that going for me, which is nice. Um, that was a good little quick up. And now it looks like we're walking. Pretty good little walk. You can kind of get a good feel for what's happening here. Um, overall, really cool area. Very remote to get to. But the destination just looks epic up there. Look at that. It's crazy. Uh, so. I'm using right now a Rilo camera with a nine foot selfie pole. But this little part of the trail is actually quite nice. That first part, I was getting a little, you know, a little pre, pre hiked out. You're like, oh, did we make a good decision or not? And uh, I think we did. Um, so, you see people walking up there, and they're just gonna look gnarly at the top. I'm hoping some of those higher clouds come in by the time I get there and these lower ones blow over. Either way, it's going to make for some cool video. All right. Maybe, uh, okay, I think we're about halfway. Um, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that those clouds up there go away. But so far, that's the view down, which uh, yeah, looks pretty rad. Those clouds are really low, so I'm hoping we got a good clearing once you get to the top and get some good views. But other than the first part, the hike hasn't been that bad. Um, I think if you hike this when it was 88 degrees, 90 degrees, I think it'd be pretty rough because there's not really much shade other than just the initial part of the hike where um, there's a bunch of trees. But as you can see, First part, a little bit of a grade. Now we're going back up again, and it looks like we're gonna kind of get around this ridge, and then 
on up to the peak. It's 11.23. Started about 11, about 20 minutes in. I think we're probably good. A mile. A mile and a half. So, we have to Okay, we're about to uh, kind of round the bend a little bit, but as you can see, it's pretty cool. I'll get some pictures on the way back, but yeah, that's it. There's lakes down there, Get some lakes. So there's kind of a mixture of like some good rises flat areas and I think up here you hit like the service road and that's what takes you up to the top so 12 11 29 and uh, yeah it's looking like we're hopefully gonna get some cloud break which would be really cool but this is awesome looking in here it's pretty neat all right Halfway there, halfway, and uh, check that out. So, going way up there, actually even higher than that, but um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Hopefully there's some sun for us. Uh, You guys already been up there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they like, get the route nuts a little bit. That'd be awesome. Really? Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, that's why I brought my jacket. Since I forgot it, I got time.